Well, our team coverage continues now. Let's bring in three news sports director Jim Donovan. Jim, this draft will undoubtedly look different than the one two years ago in Nashville. They had 600,000 fans converge on Nashville for that, but we're still expecting fans. And I imagine we'll see some pretty big crowds and some pretty big names here in Cleveland as well. Yeah, that's the goal, and I think these players who are going to be at the top of the uh, draft list, Jay, and at the top of the draft board, they are being encouraged. Hey, it's going to be safe. We're going to make sure it's going to be safe for you and your family. We'd like to have you come to Cleveland and have your draft experience there. So, the big names, remember the guys we keep our eyes on, of course, Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback from Clemson. He's expected to go number one. Justin Fields, the great quarterback from Ohio State, could go number two or certainly in the top five those players will wait and see but they are being encouraged by the NFL to come and be a part of the draft in Cleveland in other words when your name is called walk across that stage get a cap of the team that you're soon are going to be a part of and shake hands with the NFL commissioner which brings me to the NFL commissioner Roger Goodell last year in an all virtual draft held by the NFL remember he called out the picks from his basement. After all, we were all at home, but he called out all of the picks in the first round from his basement. That is not going to be the case this year. The commissioner of the NFL will be part of the NFL draft experience here in Cleveland. After all, if you're going to have the players come to Cleveland, you got to have the big guy come to Cleveland too. And the NFL is looking forward to having Roger Goodell standing on that stage here in Cleveland when the draft commences on April 29th. Jay, here's the big thing that I think a lot of people are wondering. The after effects of the virtual draft last year, the most positive feedback that they got was that the players, of course, were in their homes with their families around them, and it made for a wonderful experience. I mean, a really touching experience. It is a family effort to get a player through college and through high school and through youth football and all the way to the NFL after that, and that played pretty well. And even before this pandemic hit, there were some players saying, hey, listen, I want to be at home. Baker Mayfield was at home when he was drafted number one overall. Miles Garrett was at home, too. But the NFL would really like these players coming at the top of the draft in the first round to consider seriously coming to Cleveland with their families as kind of a reawakening yeah. of the NFL. They want capacity, Jay. They want people at the draft safely. They want people at their preseason games. They want full stadiums when the regular season begins. Yeah, as you know, this event is so much about the optics. And obviously, if more of the players selected early in that first round are here, it would sort of signal really not just to the sports world, but to the world that, you know, this thing is coming to an end and we're all coming out of our basement, so to speak. Before I let you go, Jimmy, in normal <laughs> years, the Browns draft pick is always at the draft because they're always picking in the top five picks. That's not the case this year. So one would think you've got to get down pretty far. It's likely that whoever the Browns call won't be in Cleveland. Yeah, definitely. I mean, how about that? You're right. I mean, Baker Mayfield was picked two and a half minutes into the draft. <laughs> Miles Garrett was picked 60 seconds into the draft. The Browns didn't even use their draft clock to make the uh, to hand the card in to the commissioner and have his name read out. Uh, the Browns picked 26th, and there are no signs because of the current Browns roster, Jay, and what the Browns have done last week in free agency, and who knows what they're going to do this weekend in the oncoming weeks. There are no signs that the Browns are going to move in the draft. In other words, right. go up because they don't have to right now. Uh, it's going to be a different experience, but I would uh, venture to guess there's a good chance the Browns draft choice at number 26 won't be in Cleveland on the night of the draft in the first round anyway. It's the only negative consequence of being a good team, picking late <laughs> in the first round. We'll take that. We've had so much of the other one. We'll take that. Jimmy, thank you very much. We'll see you with much more coming up on the draft at 6 o'clock.